conservative strategy, we buy stock that is cheap, okay? That is cheap, okay? That is cheap and having a rebound, okay? So, so currently, okay, currently, okay, uh, basically, uh, one of the important thing that we want to know is we want to know how is the market, okay? How is the market? Okay, by the way, where shall, where shall we start? We shall, shall we start with uh, Singapore stock first? I think, uh, okay, anybody interested in Singapore stock, type SG, SG, SG. Okay, let's, let's see. Go people, but go, people want to see Singapore stock. Okay, see, I see Singapore stock. So let's start with Singapore, okay? Okay, but anyway, later we'll talk about US and <laughs> Hong Kong, okay? So Singapore, okay, Singapore, okay? So we want to know, okay, we want to know what stock, uh, what stock is a strong, okay? What stock is strong? Okay, strong stocks. And we also want to know what stock is weak. Okay, for weak one, of course, why we want to know is sometimes this one also equals to cheap, right? Cheap. So example, okay, if I buy stock for my mother, okay, I will buy cheap one. I will buy cheap one. If I buy stock for myself, I will buy strong one. Okay, why? Because one is a passive one, right? Passive means, you know, you want to find the stock that pays a dividend, okay? Dividend and this uh, company, right? Is a big and good company. Big and good company. Lah. Don't buy penny stock and cheap cheap penny stock, okay? We don't, we don't buy that, right? Okay, so for strong, okay, for strong, okay? We want to look for what? We want to look for the sector, okay? The strong sector. And of course, uh, this stock, right, keep on uh, going up and up and up and up, doing very well, all right? So strong sector, strong stock, okay? Strong sector, strong stock. So over here, okay, okay, let's uh, identify some of these, okay, these uh, things in the market, okay? So over here, let's, uh, okay, so example, okay, example, okay, let's, let me just share with you. One thing, okay. So let's uh, let's talk about this. You know, uh, one of the strategy called bottom master uptrend. Okay, bottom master uptrend. Okay. So, so over here, this bottom master uptrend right, is to see the stock uh, that is getting sell down recently, getting sell down recently. Okay. So before that, it was maybe not a don't have a big problem, but Recently, okay, recently, there is some selling going on. Some selling going on. Some selling going on. So when there is a lot of selling going on, like sell, 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 somewhere, somewhere near the, the bottom, the support level, the signal will come out. So the, we call this a bottom signal. Bottom signal. Okay? So if there's a sell down, sell down, sell down, sell down, somewhere near the bottom, okay, the support level, there is a so-called a bottom signal. Okay, so when there's a sell down somewhere near the support level, there is a bottom signal. Okay, a bottom signal doesn't mean that sure it will go up. It doesn't mean that sure it will go up. A bottom signal right, only tell us what now is quite cheap. Okay, now is quite cheap, but no guarantee sure it go up. Okay, no guarantee. Understand? Not? Okay, understand? Not? So over here, one of the stock, okay, one of the stock is this. UOB, okay. One of the stock is UOB. So what happened here is, yeah, okay. What happened here is UOB, okay. Here there's a sell down. Here's the second sell down. Here is the third sell down. Okay, third sell down. Okay. So right now this uh twenty eight dollars, twenty eight dollars is the so called the uh, short term support, short term support. Okay. But okay, for it to really so called rebound, uh, Okay, we are looking at this level called the 2850. Okay, 2850. So if you can go above this green candle, then is the real bottom. Understand? Not? You can see uh, over here. This one, the rebound, must go above what? Must go above the this uh, green color. Okay, so of course now it's even cheaper. Now it's even cheaper. Now, of course, you see some uh some kind of a support. Okay, but for it to really rebound, it must be above. 2850. Okay, so one of the stock, okay, this one you will be. What do you all think? What do you all think? <laughs> okay, will there be a crisis? 
Like, will there be a crisis? If there's a crisis, of course, this bottom signal will not work. Okay, this bottom signal will not work. But if there's no crisis, if there's no crisis, so let's say you see, uh, there's two parts of the chart, right? One is the crisis part. The crisis part is this part. Okay, there's a bottom signal. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Then there's another bottom signal and then it go down, 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 down. Okay, that is the crisis part. If there's no crisis, if there's no crisis, okay, it drop and then here bottom signal, it bounce. Bottom signal, it bounce. So bottom signal, it bounce. Bottom signal, it bounce. Bottom signal, it bounce. Bottom, bottom, bottom three times and then it bounce. Okay, so it's an, a bit late. Now, but then it is indeed a cheap price okay, over here. So over here, drop, drop a little bit more, and then it bounce. Drop, and then it bounce. Drop, and then it bounce. Okay, so sometimes it drop a little bit more, right? And it drop a little bit more. But then after that, it bounce. Okay, so, uh, so the thing here is this. Okay, you can see if there's no problem with the bank sector, okay, if there's no problem, no problem means uh, uh, no, no, don't have a serious problem. This is the COVID. Uh, this is the COVID, so it's a, it's a big drop over here. But then you still catch the another bottom here. Okay, so it's, you still get to catch the $14. You will be at this uh, bottom signal. You still get a bottom signal over here. Okay, and then what happened? It bounced. Okay, these are the kind of bounce that is really meaningful. Okay, sometimes the bounce not so meaningful. Uh, like this one bounce a bit only, you know, 9%, not, not that much, right? But this one, uh, wow, bounce a lot. Okay, 17%. Okay. This one bounce a little bit, okay lah, three four percent, not fantastic, but okay, meaning okay only yeah. okay. But this one, wow, really the, really the bottom signal, and this one of course not fantastic. It it fail, it fail, but after a while it give you a better one, right? It give you a better bottom signal over here. Okay, so a lot of people will will ask, are you sure not bank stock? Huh? bank having a problem, bank having a big problem. Okay, but what I see uh, is the bank making a lot of profit. Eh. Do, do you all see that? The bank report, uh, the bank report, right? Is the report, you know, like like profit, like the report profit. Okay, but, but of course, I never see in details. I never see in details. I just see headlines. Uh, UOB or OCBC report earnings, uh, record profit, uh, U, uh, DBS, record profit, all that, right? Okay, so... So, okay, so anyway, for us, we are technical. Okay, technical. technical means, okay, you look at the, the cheap price. This is uh, somewhere cheap already. Okay, when this thing drop, this is the place bottom signal happened. This is a cheap place already. Okay, so for UOB, okay, UOB, what is happening here? Okay, what is happening here? Will there be a bounce that follow through above 28.50? If yes, then... That is a we call it a follow through. That means uh, this signal is not valid until the price is above twenty eight fifty. Twenty eight forty seven, but twenty eight fifty to be round number. Okay, so if you see the the green color over here, okay, it bounced uh at around five six percent. The green color over here, there's a five percent bounce. So over here, let's uh. Let's see. Let's see how it how it goes. Okay. So so of course other stock maybe uh, cannot use this strategy. Other stock, those stock are uh, without a good dividend, not big company. You know, usually we don't we don't uh, look at the bottom signal uh, for Singapore stock. Uh, we don't do that. Okay. So another stock, Fraser. Okay, uh, Fraser center point, right? So here that it dropped. There's a bottom signal, and then after that, it bounced off the low. Which this is nice one, right? This is nice. This one not fantastic because why? We are still in the bearish market. We are still having this uh, interest rate high and all that. Okay, but over here, Fraser Center Point Trust. Over here, there is a bottom signal, and now you see is it follow through. That means that we we are late already. Huh? Today the webinar is. Passed already, already up a little bit already. Okay. But if you are two days ago, you see this. Okay. In fact, this one you can draw some line like this, or this is an uptrend, and this is a support level, or this is a support level. Okay. So 
all the way after hit the support level the stock bounce off the support level okay and then there's another stock here maple tree pan asia pan asia okay so over here okay these are not not too not too uh what we call not too late okay not too late still still quite cheap also right? it's still quite cheap understand not? so so when some people they they look at the technical analysis right what they do is they they draw you know uh like like a like a channel okay like a channel so they say okay here up okay resistance here is a support here is the resistance here is the support level then it hit the resistance and here it is near the support level okay so today based on this uh, study okay we have found a few stock that is cheap okay and haven't really moved one is a UOB, one is a Pan Asia Commercial Trust. Okay, what what do you all think? What do you all think? Is it is it okay? Is it uh helpful? Okay, if helpful, type yes. Okay, type yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so so basically, okay, just want to, uh, of course, uh, other stock like MedTech, Samudara, Golden Energy, we don't use the this strategy because. Uh, these are more speculative. Okay? These are more speculative. That means that if you are wrong, if you are right, congratulations, uh, you pick the lowest point and then you know it go up like this. If you are right, uh, if you are wrong, uh, this kind of stock, okay, uh, they are coal industry. They are not like a like a dividend play. You understand? So so just now, okay, just now we we what we do is we are looking at this. Uh, we are looking at cheap and got pay dividend one so we can wait correct not? so some people they can wait and say okay this one I, I have one. or maybe maybe you already have the stock maybe you already have the stock but you buy at a higher price <laughs> you're waiting to to buy more okay correct not? Okay, maybe I, I already have UOB I want to buy more or I want to buy more at a cheaper price so over here uh, you know, now it's cheap okay? now it's uh, considered cheap okay so okay, so of course there are many other stocks. Today I just share with you, you know what recently have a bottom signal. Okay, so uh, so this one, okay, this one, okay, we talk about uh this uh SGX, okay, uh bottom master uptrend five days ago. Okay, this is the screener. This is the screener. Okay, so if I want to find stock that is strong, okay, strong stocks, Singapore, strong Singapore stocks, what can I do? Okay, I can do uh like like short term blue arrow, okay, short term blue arrow, okay, and from here, right, I get another set of stocks, okay, and let's look at those stock that is, that is a uh, so called, okay, so called stronger one, okay, so let's let's see, okay, so some are penny stocks, okay, this is a penny stock, Marco Polo, Marine, uh, this is a uh, also like penny stocks. Okay, so we try not to get involved with penny stock, uh, uh, but of course some people like. Uh, okay, but if you like penny stock, okay. I mean, try try to. Uh, I I I'm not so good in penny stock, uh, but anyway, uh, cable DC cable DC is the strong one. Okay, it's a strong one. Okay, so this one, okay, this one, is a strong reach. Okay, it's a one of the strongest reach. So there's a few features in this uh in this uh, software. Okay, there's a few features. One right is this this thing, right? This thing called the uh sector, sector info, sector info. So as a REITs, right, real estate sector, okay, we compare with other REITs. So Capital DC, Kaplan uh, Ascenders, Parkway Life and CDL Hospitality Trust. Okay, so of course they are not all data center la, okay? they are specialized reads la. that means different okay different place different things la. okay so Capo DC okay Capo DC oh no Kaplan Escort Trust okay Kaplan Escort Trust this, the, the other one is Kaplan Escort Trust the blue line the blue line so Capo DC right is the strongest okay is the strongest we call it uh, the reads uh, in the Singapore market one of the strongest okay one of the strongest okay so, so from here, you can see that here is a pullback and recently the pullback is very minor. Okay. So if anything here start to move higher, 
this is for the short term trading. Okay, short term trading. Okay, so the next uh, stocks, Olam not fantastic. Okay, not fantastic. Uh, this a uh, Fraser not fantastic. Bumi, Tama not fantastic. So what I can do is I let me just uh, do this another screener. Okay, to help you to find out right, what are the stocks that is the strongest uh, in Singapore. Okay, what are the stocks that is the strongest in Singapore? Okay, so over here, these are the stocks, right? Just a few stocks only. You don't need to pay attention uh, to all the stocks in Singapore. You just need to know 10 stocks in Singapore. Okay, if you are trading in and out, if you are, you know, you want to focus on the best stock, right? Okay, that means currently, if your portfolio have these 10 stocks, you are probably doing uh, very well in the Singapore market. Wow, okay, sounds easy or not? Okay, sounds easy. Uh. Sounds a bit too easy. Uh. Okay, but let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look. Let's have an open mind and see. Is this 10, 11 stocks, right? Is, the, is it the best stock in Singapore? Okay, so number one, OCBC. Okay, OCBC. So if you are holding this stock, if you are holding this stock, is it a bad thing? Okay, is it a bad thing? Okay, no. Okay, by the way, Edmund asked, is it the buy and keep? No. Uh. Okay, just now we talk about this, uh, this strategy, right? Okay. The weak one, the cheap one, this one, you know, more for long-term or holding, dividend, long-term investing, this kind of thing, right? But for strong one, this is for trading. Okay, this is for investing. Okay, trading and investing, what's the difference? Trading, you know, uh, higher risk, okay, higher risk, okay, higher risk. And trading, you know, you want to faster, okay, you want to get out faster. Investing, okay, sometimes you wait, you know, uh, three months or four months. Like example, uh, today, you know, I just sell some uh, Singtel, okay, I just sell some Singtel shares, okay. January buy. And now yeah, up already. Okay, make some profit. Uh, sell away. Okay, so that's investing. Investing. You just want you know four percent, five percent, or eight percent. This kind of uh, investing, right? But trading, maybe you buy smaller size. You buy smaller size, but you're looking at twenty percent. You're looking at you know uh twenty five, thirty percent. This kind of uh, range. This kind of profit. Okay, so trading is a uh, not for buy and keep uh, because some of these stocks maybe all right maybe after they go up already okay they, they go up finish already they go down okay they go down for a long time okay so so over here okay ocbc still strong actually compared to uob and dbs this is the stronger stock but it is not cheap it didn't drop okay, it didn't drop understand but if you look at the the, the trend, okay, the trend, the blue color, this is an uptrend. The blue color, this is an uptrend. The blue color, this is a strong trend. So now it's blue color and it haven't moved yet. Okay. So from here, okay, from here, if the whole bank sector start to turn around, okay, I suspect OCBC will be the stronger one. If the if the bank sector, right, or if, if the market uh, turn around from here, right, I suspect this uh, OCBC might be the one that move up faster or or the first one to break the high. Okay, if it will be the first one to break the high if the bank stock is turning around. Okay, so one of the strong stocks is this OCBC bank, which is quite a surprise. Other strong stocks, right? If you look at this, okay, Capital Corp. Capital Corp, is it strong or not? Is it the best stock in the market now? What do you think? Yes or no? Okay, do you agree that Capital Corp is one of the best stock? Okay, so over here, okay, over here, you know, uh, the idea about this uh strategy, right, or this uh this uh, screener, right? The idea is, okay, the idea is, there are many stock in the market, so many stock, right? Which one should we pay attention? Okay, which one should we pay attention? Okay, there is like so many stocks, right? In the market, which one should we pay attention? Okay, so we say that okay, we should we can pay attention to this 
10% best. 10% best. Because 90% of the stock is not going anywhere. It's just randomly up, randomly down. But 10%, these 10% are the best stock in the market. They're the best stock in the market. That means drop very little, up more, then it drop. Up more, then it drop. So every time it go up, it go up more. Every time it drop, it drop less. So if I can hold on to this stock as it go up, then, right then, you know, uh, these are the so-called the best stock and I get paid. Okay, get paid. Okay. Because I holding the, okay, holding the best stock. Okay. Do you agree? Okay. So, so think about this. Okay. Do you get paid holding the worst stock or you get paid holding the best stock? And you get paid holding the best stock. So I'm thinking, hey, yeah, man. Okay. People get paid holding the best stock. Ma. Why do people get paid holding the worst stock? Okay. How do you get paid holding the worst stock? So to know that what stock is the best to know. Okay. You to know how can you know which one is the best? Okay. To see. Okay. How can you see which one is the best? Okay. How can you see? Okay. So when you can see, then you can what? Buy. When you can buy, then you can hold, right? When you can hold and the stock go up, okay, you then you have a profit. Correct? Okay. When you have a profit, then of course, then you will have bigger, okay, big win, right? Okay. If you don't even see a profit, then how you have a big win? Correct? Okay. So from what we hear, what we can do is we, we know, okay, we acknowledge, okay, we acknowledge what is the best stock. Okay. We acknowledge, right? So, so over here, Capital Corp, right? Capital Corp. Okay, Capital Corp. Capital Corp, is it, is it the first time, first day it go up? No. Uh. Capital Corp was one of the best stock in 2022. Okay, 2022, January, February, March, April, May, June. Okay, then after that, red color. Red color means not so good. Okay, red color means correction. So this is the correction period. But when it is blue color, blue color, it is a good period. Okay, the strong period. So, so then July, August, and September. Okay, September start to have another correction. So over here have another correction. So red color. After the correction, blue color again. So blue color is the good time. Red color is the correction period. And February onwards, it was blue color. So blue color, and then you go up, and then you go up. Then it go up again. Okay, so so uh, is Capital Corp one of the best stock right now? Definitely, right? Okay, definitely. Correct. Right okay. So the next one, okay, the next one is this stock called SIA. SIA. Okay, so so you can see you now under the best stock, right? Okay, there are two types. Okay, there are two types. Okay, so so over here, let me just share with you the idea of uh, a low risk entry, a low risk entry. Everybody, okay, type low risk entry, L-R-E, L-R-E strategy, okay, L-R-E strategy, okay, everybody type L-R-E, this three, three alphabet, so I, I can, I can prepare you, I will make you, you know, not so sleepy, yeah. if not, you are very sleepy, okay, type L-R-E, okay, L-R-E. Okay. All right. So of course, when we look at the best stock, right, our idea is very dangerous because the stock is moving. Correct? Not? The stock is moving. So what if I buy and then the stock crash? What if I buy and then the stock drop? Okay. So over here, this is like a MRT. Okay. When the train is moving, of course, you go in, it's very dangerous. So when the train stop, okay, this is a Train station, okay. Train station, low risk entry. This is a low risk entry, okay. When the train is going, 
then of course when you go in here it's very dangerous but when the train stop okay then this is the better place when the train go right it's dangerous when the train stop okay okay so of course the mark the stock price will have the time it rests we have the time it drop or uh, with the time it it move okay so we we are looking at you know the one that sometimes haven't moved haven't moved so low risk entry right okay low risk entry right? it is the okay it is the this uh the period where the stock right is actually having some kind of a resting haven't really moved haven't really moved okay so example Okay, example. Okay, SIA. Okay, do you consider SIA as one of the better stock in the entire Singapore market? Do you agree not? Okay, so if you agree, okay, then this one first check. Okay, SIA is not bad. SIA is a blue chip. SIA, the company now should be making good money, right? Okay, I mean, this one depends on your own uh, judgment, ah. Uh. Okay, I'm just saying it. Okay, so over here, okay, SIA is uh, currently on the uptrend. SIA is wow, having this, uh, you know, a breakout of this uh, multi years uh, resistance. You know, maybe, okay, maybe they are going to a, a higher level. Okay, a higher level. Higher level means that, meaning, uh, wow, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, wow, this, this one can go. All time high. Okay, maybe maybe it's time for them to go all time high. Okay, that means wow, more than what you can expect. Okay, maybe you can go seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe it can be like this, you know, this uh this uh DBS UOB like this, right? Okay, become a uh, more than ten dollars, right? Okay. So okay, so anyway, I'm just saying maybe uh so so over here, over here, uh what is the good news is the good news is currently it haven't really moved. Okay, it's just up, pull back, up, pull back, and up a little bit. Up a little bit. Okay, so generally, it is quite good. Okay, quite good. Okay, it will be better if you can close above $6. Okay, that means that is a, a big, a big uh, turning point. Okay, a big turning point. So you can close above $6. That is the, you know, so-called a big milestone. Okay, a big milestone. Now it's just like, you know, up a little bit. But think about this. Okay, think about this. Current market, uh, generally, right, it's not strong for Singapore market. It's not, it's not strong. I agree, uh, okay? Like DBS, all these are falling, right? This SIA can up a little bit. It's considered quite strong. Okay, right? quite strong. Okay, so of course, we're talking about strong stocks. We're talking about, uh, we're talking about trading. We're not talking about investing. Of course, now it is not cheap. Okay, as compared to five dollars or what, it's not say drop a lot. Then you scoop out at the lowest point. It is not the bottom signal period where things are falling. Okay, it is the things are going up right now. Okay, if you are if you are looking at bottom signal, you can you know collect it when it is cheap. But the bottom signal is over. Okay, it's over. It's not now it's not falling. So there's no bottom to be picked here. Okay, but anyway, SIA okay, will be one of the stock to watch. Okay, one of the stock to watch. Right? Okay, of course, the next one, Semcorp Industry. Okay, Semcorp Industry. So just now what I'm saying is the low risk entry. So some of this area, right? You can see this area is a low risk entry. Okay. So uh some of this area. It is a it is a low risk entry. Some of this is a low risk entry. Okay, some of this is a low risk entry. This is a low risk entry. So this same crop industry, indeed, it is a strong stock, but it is not at the low risk entry. So now, if you want to wow, jump in to buy, then of course this is a uh, dangerous. Okay, correct. Okay, so the question here is. And then, uh, what scanner can, can you find low risk entry? What scanner? Okay. Can I develop a scanner to scan out for low risk entry? Okay. So if you look at this, okay, the blue arrow, the blue arrow, it is actually when it pull back. The blue arrow come out 
when the stock having a pullback. The blue arrow come out when the stock having a pullback. The blue arrow come out is where the stock having this uh, pullback. So this blue arrow, it is the strategy, right? To find the, okay? To find the low risk entry, okay? Before the stock uh, go up, correct? Right? Okay, so if you look at Capital Corp, okay, Capital Corp, so this blue arrow over here, this place, it is the low risk entry. Okay, the rest, uh, not very sure. Okay, the rest, maybe you can see the, the top signal breakout or what. Okay, but for this, okay, this, this was the low risk entry. Okay, so another stock, Capitaland, uh, Capital Land Invest. Okay, Capital Land Invest. So this one also consider one of the strong stocks for the recent market. Okay, but you can see that now it is hitting this uh, $3.83 resistance okay so this resistance uh, you can see one time two time three time four time four time resistance okay four time resistance so so over here uh not sure okay not sure whether you can you can bounce off or not but of course uh, for this stock okay this stock okay is a a bit also like you know, not very sure. Uh, why? Because it's a, it's a range bound. It's a sideway trend throughout the year. Okay. So if you are on the bottom signal, you can catch it at the low point. Okay. But for now, a bit uh, resist, quite a, quite a big resistance. Okay. So ascenders reads. Okay. Ascenders reads. What do you think? Okay. Ascenders reads. Ascenders reads, right? If you can see, this is a higher low. 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 After the red color, the, the stock went higher. After the red color, the stock went higher. After the red color, the stock went higher. And this is the red color. Okay. So now, okay, it is also waiting for some kind of a breakout. Okay. So if this stock can break above 292, uh, it is also a milestone uh, for, the, for the stocks. Okay. This is a, a strong resistance. Okay. But the good news is with all this higher low, higher low, higher low, and higher low. Uh, it's telling us that actually the buyer are coming in. Okay? The buyer are coming in. So in other words, anything that shows a continuation, okay, this is good for trading also. Okay, it's so good for trading. Okay, Sing Xiong. Okay, so Sing Xiong had a, some pullback after a run, but Sing Xiong is still on the very strong long-term uptrend, okay? And then uh, we have this uh, APEC REITs, also strong upward trend, and also this food and buyer. Wow, this one, okay? Food and buyer, okay? So again, this is uh, one of the most aggressive stock, okay? This is the low risk entry. This is the low risk entry. This is the low risk entry. This is another low risk entry. But now, already moved. Okay, so you, you want to find stocks, right? That is at the low risk entry. Okay, you want to find stocks that's low risk entry. How do I know the stop is only temporary or just pullback? Okay, if it's a deep one, it can lead to a fall. Okay, so, okay, question from this uh, FH. Okay, FH asks, uh, like, uh, how, how do I know whether the, the stop is a temporary or this is a long term. Actually, nobody will know. It's just like you, you burn a fire. Okay? How do you know the fire can burn your house? Or the fire is just for cooking. Okay. So when you see more and more smoke, when you see more and bigger and bigger fire, that fire is the fire that burn your house. If you see this is a small fire and then you can turn it off anytime and under control, then it will not, uh, you know, it will, you can use it for cooking. Okay. So in other words, sometimes, okay, sometimes the drop, okay, the drop become, cannot control, cannot control. Okay. A big drop. Okay. It's like a big explosion. Wow. Big drop. You know, big fire, big fire. Okay. So big fire, big drop. These are the kind, you know, uh, you've got to be more careful. If it is a small drop, the small drop, it is still controllable. You still can control, then it is fine. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So, 
another stock, uh, which is Genting Singapore. Genting Singapore right now is uh, at a low risk entry. Okay, it's at a low risk entry. It is uh, still, uh, still near the all time high. Still not all time. Still near the one year high. Okay, but uh, just need to have more of a upward. Days lah, okay, more up with this. That means you must stay above this one dollar ten cent for a longer period, above one dollar thirteen cent, fourteen cent, fifteen cent for it to recover. Okay, right? so this is also one of the stock, one of the best stock, best performing stocks in the market. Okay, so there are many stocks. Okay, uh, if you want more stocks, you can do the stage two screening. The stage two screening here, uh, there are many more. Okay, there are many more. Dynamic, okay. Uh, Delphi, okay, these are the one. Okay, so the low risk entry is where the blue arrow is. Okay, and then the yeah, some of them, yeah, some of them are penny stocks like this Bang Kuang, Lembing, Propnex. Okay, Propnex, Propnex looks like the end of the trend. Okay, end of the trend, end of the trend. Sometimes they end with a champagne. Okay, a champagne pop. pop okay, so, so. Maybe okay, maybe this could be the end of uh end at the climax. Okay, maybe this could be the end for the wall. Okay, for, for a while. That means people who take profit here, maybe they are not coming back already. Okay, maybe they are not coming back. Okay, so same same marine capital DC again. Okay, Sing Shong again. Okay, so that's that's all for Singapore market. Okay, that's all for Singapore market. Singapore market, I think we have gone through quite Pretty detail on the a few important stocks. Okay, a few important stocks. Right? Okay, so what how many stocks will, will you put in your your watch list? Okay, how many stocks? Okay, which which are the ones that you are very interested? Let me know. Right. Okay, so besides that, if you got any stocks you want to see, okay, for Singapore, let's let's choose two stocks. Okay, let's choose two stocks. Let me know which stock you want to see. We can use the system. To to you know uh take a look right okay I I, I saw this Taren Tang okay Taren Tang so Taren Tang wow this one very interesting also okay so Taren Tang was is also one of the best one of the best okay so Taren Tang okay from one dollar over here one dollar eighteen cents okay one dollar sixteen cents all the way up to two dollar 18 cents. Okay. 2 to 18 cents. So here there is this thing called SMI 100. Okay, SMI 100. So SMI 100, right, telling us that at this point, it is the time for the big players, right? It's a, it is one of the best time for the big player to take profit. Okay. For a big player to take profit. So from this point onwards, if it cannot hold this level, right? If you cannot hold this level, maybe this is the end. Maybe this is the end. that means if we start to draw from here, right? Then that's the end. But however, if you can go above, stay above, then no problem. Okay, if you can stay above, no problem. So over here, uh, seems like seems like profit taking have has been going on. Profit taking have been going on. So how do you know? How do you know? Okay, so you can see here the smart money is getting lower and lower. This is one thing, the smart money getting lower and lower. And over here, uh, this candlestick, right? Okay, this candlestick. You can see the tail is very long on the top. The tail is very long on the top. That means when it reached the price, there is a big sell down. When it reached the high price, there's a big sell down. Okay, so so for Taren Tang, okay, uh, recently there is some selling happening. There's some selling happening, but the good news is it still maintain the price level. It still maintain the price level. Okay, so maybe it's just cashing out a little bit, but not crashing the stock. Okay, not crashing. That means if they cash out, okay, and then if you can bounce again upwards, okay, upwards above two forty, then wow. Okay, then this is the low risk entry. Okay, we are just above the low risk entry. Okay, so if you enter, okay, using the signal over here, okay, if you enter using the signal over here, 
That means you buy somewhere around this uh two dollar fifteen cents, okay, and then you put a stop loss here. So what do you do is you move your stop loss higher, okay, to almost no loss, okay, almost a small loss or no loss. So if it drop a little bit more, hit your stop loss, okay, and you are out at a break even, okay, you are out at a break even, okay. If it doesn't drop, okay, by right, you know, it should continue to move up, okay. That means if the if the smart money really want to continue to buy up these shares. You know, it should be moving soon, right? It shouldn't be, be taking too long to move. All right, so let's take a look at uh this uh okay, last 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 stock, uh, one last one. Okay, somebody asked about S56. What's S56? S56. Okay, what's S56? Samudara shipping. Oh, Samudara shipping. Okay, this is not good, not good. Okay, once we see this kind of a candle, the, the thing is not good anymore. Okay, we call it volatility. When you see a big candle drop, this is not good. When you see a sudden drop like this, a few days, this is not good. When you see a up and then next day sell down, this is not good. When you see a gap down and continue to sell down, this is not good. Volatility. Okay. A good stock, right? Usually don't have so much volatility. That means don't have so much of a swing. Okay, what is a good stock? A good stock. That means if it's going up, if it's going up, usually don't have a big drop. Okay, usually don't have a big drop. So if it's going up steadily, you don't have much of a, a big drop. You have a small drop, up, small drop, up, small drop. So once the big drop come in, okay, okay up, small drop, up, small drop, up, small drop. Okay, these are the low risk entry, right? These are the low risk entry. Okay, so once the big drop come in, you know the the taste of the soup is totally different, already, Okay, understand? So the the soup is spoiled, already, Okay, so that's my my view, lah. Okay, but of course the smart money can do whatever they want. Okay, so now when you see this, okay, you see that the smart money is gone. The smart money has gone away, and this green color represent the Retail and okay, retail are kind of stuck here. Okay, so uh, overall there's a bottom signal. Okay, there's a bottom signal here. Okay, short term is a oversold. Some bounce is happening here. So as long as it doesn't break, continue to break below this low. Maybe okay, maybe it is still good. Okay, so maybe it's still good. But generally, generally, uh. From this point onwards, a lot of volatility is not a, a very good uh, situation here. Okay, so sometimes bottom signal really okay really works okay sometimes, but if it's downtrend, then it doesn't right. So so let's see okay, let's see. Okay, so let's move on to a next market. Okay, let's move on to the next market. What is the next market? Let me know in the in the chat. Okay, let me know in the chat which which market your Want to see next? Okay. The first guy who typed in Hong Kong. Okay. Okay. So later on we talk about US. Okay. So just now somebody typed Hong Kong first. So let's let's go for Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Okay. Hong Kong. Let's take a look at a few important stocks. Okay. Number one is Tencent. Okay, Tencent. Tencent is an important stock. Okay, important stock. It, it represents 10% of the index. Okay, ten percent of the index. So what is happening here is Hong Kong have been going through this kind of a, a pullback, which is frustrating. Okay, frustrating. Okay, this is a very bad pullback, a very bad pullback. So generally, okay, generally, the market is very weak. Okay, it's the opposite of the US. It's the opposite of US. US is doing very well, but this Hong Kong. Is doing very bad, okay, very bad. But okay, but the thing is now is also a very so called like a like a suppressed period. A okay, suppressed period. That means what? That means there is a squeeze over here. There is another squeeze over here. So a lot of people are being like squeezed the second time. Okay, squeeze one time, squeeze second time. Okay, so so. Overall, okay, overall, 
this is still higher than the lower period. That means uh, at this point, at this point, by right, okay, by right, the market, you know, is at a support level. Okay, it's at the support level. Okay, and by right, this support level, you know, there should be some bounce happening soon. By right, uh, by right. <laughs> okay. Why? Because you, you see it rests for uh like this February and March, right? And then this there's up like one over week, and then after that it rests for another one over month, almost two months, April and May. April and May, there's this, this sell down. So for the January until now, right? Most of the time is down. And most of the time is down. Okay, so for the this like almost six months already, five months past already, it is still start at the start of the year. Still, still, you know, flat. Okay, still flat. Okay, so the market is, is not very strong. Okay, not very strong. So a few things, right? So if you're looking at cheap, Right, okay, if you're looking at cheap, okay, then if you look at the, the tracker fund or this, the ETF, the tracker fund is at a cheap price. It's at a cheap price. So which means what? Which means, which means if you are investor, investor now, congratulations, the market have reached a strong support level. Okay, has reached a strong support level. So so we are at this kind of a scenario. That is a bottom signal, follow through, bottom signal. So this bottom has been tested about two or three times. Okay. So the question is, will we break now? Okay, will we break now? Will we break now? Okay, or will we go up? Okay. So we look out for this level, $20, okay, $20.50. So if the Hang Seng Index can go above this $20.50, that is the better, better sign. Okay, that's the better sign. The $20.50 on of this uh, tracker fund. So short term, it is very cheap. Okay, it's very cheap. It corrected until the start of the year, the 2022 closing. Okay. So now it is at the discount level and US market is on the recovery stage. So the difference between current and last time is what? Last time is at the left side of the downtrend. Left side. Left side. These are the, the left side of the downtrend. And we are now at the right side. Okay, right side. So this is the middle. This is the middle. Okay, this is the, the divider, right? This is the divider. Okay. Be before this vertical line, it is the left side. After this vertical line, we are at the right side. We are at the right side. To confirm whether this is the right side, okay, first. $20.50 and follow, follow on, okay? And, and continue to go higher, okay? If you can break above this $22.50, that is even better. That means a confirmation of a bull market, okay? A confirmation of a bull market. So a lot of uncertainty, a lot of uncertainty, okay? The market is really, really uh, unpredictable, okay? So again here, Okay, this is the red line and the purple line. So if this tracker fund can go above $20.60 60 cents, and then $21, that will turn this candle to green. When it is green, then the market will be better. But for now, it is orange. Still very weak. Okay, still very weak. Okay, so, so over here, uh, let's look at, take a look at the strong stocks of the of the Hong Kong, a okay, strong stock of the Hong Kong. So let me just quickly go through now uh, because I think we have a uh, very limited time. Okay, so good news. Okay, good news is you can see some of these are, are very popular name like BYD. Okay, so BYD is doing well. Okay, it's doing well. It's moving up. Okay, off a a base over here. Okay, and today this uh, Lee Auto also uh gap up. Okay, gap up. Of all these uh so-called the resistance, right? Gap up above the resistance. So these are the good sign. These are the good sign. So oh yeah, okay. So Hong Kong uh, is a very, very uh what we call interesting market. Uh. Okay. So recently uh, I also have a have a client. Okay. So if, if you ask me, uh, is it worth to spend time or is it worth to 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 what we call? Learn about this this uh stock. Uh, right? 
Okay, let me just show you something. Uh, but this one is between you and me. Uh, okay. So recently, I have this client uh, okay, that make this money. Okay, 300 over 1,000 uh, from this uh, HSBC. HSBC. So 300 over 1,000. Okay, 300 over 1,000. Is it, uh, what we call? Is it worth it? Uh, is it not? Uh, Okay, is it like, wow, okay, how he make, how he make. Of course, uh, one thing is he choose the right stock. <laughs> he choose the right stock. So HSBC, right, is, is one of the strongest stocks, okay? Okay, one of the strongest stocks. Okay, 0005. HSBC is one of the strongest stocks, okay? So, so the good news is, okay, the good news is, okay, he managed to hold and hold through the, the downtrend and after that they recover. Okay. They recover. Oh, I think recently he, he bought he he bought it. Okay. When it pulled back, he bought it. Okay. And the share price uh, from then on start to move higher. So the, the thing here is this, okay. The thing here is this. if you choose the stronger stocks, okay, if you happen to choose the stronger stocks, you get paid. Okay, you get paid holding the best stock. Okay, you get paid holding the best stock. So HSBC is one of the the odd one out, okay, because not many stocks, right, is this strong, okay, not many stocks is this strong, okay, so let's take a look at what are the strongest one, okay, what are the strong stocks in the market, okay, so if we look at stocks that is not too small, okay, not too small, that means more than 10 million a day, right, transaction, market cap, more than 15. Is it 15? Is it good? Okay, it's okay. Lah. 15. Okay, so so what are the stock that is moving? Okay, what are the stock that is moving? Okay, so example. Okay, some this is uh, biotech. Okay, biotech. In US, biotech is very strong. Okay, so in, in this uh, Hong Kong, one of the stock is uh, this Akeso. Okay, Akeso. Okay, but try to avoid zero eight something kind of a stocks okay because there could be a scam stock and usually i try to get stock that is much uh much uh, common and much bigger in the market cap okay high sense okay high sense high sense is one of the popular name uh, high sense higher okay this is a strong stock this is a strong stock okay and right now it's having some kind of a small pullback so any move above this $18 or $17.90, that would be a, a good uh, turnaround, right? Mining. Okay, go mining. Go mining. Zhao Jing. Okay, Zhao Jing. And previously, we talked about this uh, China Unicorn. Okay, China Unicorn is also continue to move higher. Okay, so previously, we also talked about the CRC, the train. Okay, train uh, builder. Train builder, this is also on the uptrend. And uh, in a summary, uh, in the previous discussion, we talked about a few things. Number one is the telecom. Okay. Number two is the petrol oil and gas, it's a strong sector. And number three is the gold miner. Okay, so that, that's the few things that is uh, strong. Okay. So uh from here, right, you can see a few things. Okay, you see a few things, a few biotech. And this is a pharma, right? pharmaceutical. So Beijing, this is a biotech. So biotech and pharmaceutical, these are the very volatile sector. But in the current uh, Hong Kong market, actually they are quite resilient. They are not falling uh, heavily, right? Okay, so so for Hong Kong market, for Hong Kong market, this kind of a, what, Hua Tian power, Okay, some of these is the utilities. Some of them is a one belt, one road concept. Okay, like the train, train uh, builders and the this kind of a power plant, okay, utilities. Maybe they are the one belt, one road concept. So maybe the one belt, one road concept is coming back. Okay, and this uh Hua Tian Power, okay, have been going on uh pretty strong since uh, this uh 2022. Okay, where this uh, Hang Seng index is still on the downtrend. Okay, so utilities like this, okay, utilities like this, right now having a pullback, generally is breaking this uh, almost uh, all-time high, all-time high, breaking all-time high, and it is still cheap, 
at three dollars seventy five cents, still cheap. Okay, so uh, another thing, okay, that recently we noticed, okay, life insurance, life insurance, CPIC, life insurance. So you can see this is the pool bank, 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 and for short term, right now it is also having some kind of a pullback. So overall, uh, this, okay, this is a uh, what we call. Uh, one of the strongest stock, okay, CPIC. So uh, if you can see the other life insurance stock that is going up or not, you can see. Uh, so again, we want to make use of this uh, sector info on the right side, okay? Other than the green one, so green one is CPIC, right? You still got the yellow one. Yellow is China Life. The blue one is Ping An, and then the pink color, is AIA. So one, two, three, four. These four. Okay. So let's take a look at the the yellow and the blue, right? So like China life. Is it a strong sector? Okay. Is it a strong sector? Is it uh moving up generally in a that this a uh, strong direction? Seems like it. Okay, it seems like it. So it's a up, rest, up, rest, up, and then Correction, a few months, correction. And then up, rest, up, rest, up, rest. So so right now, you can see that, oh, this one already break the, the you know, multi-year high. Okay, while well, Hang Seng is still weak. Okay, so some of this China, China uh, owns a life insurance company, eh? they are doing well, right? They are doing well, okay? So another one is Ping An. Ping An. So let's take a look at Ping An. So Ping An also uh, recently having a pullback. But you can see this pullback. Well, the first one pullback for three days and then up. So now it pullback for four days. So so if we can still see it bounce, okay, it's a good sign. Okay, because why? Because if you if you see from here, it's up, pullback, bounce, pullback, bounce, pullback. If it bounces again, it's telling us that actually the insurance, okay, the insurance uh, sector is strong. So you can see, uh, pay attention on this. Okay, one of the strongest is CPIC. All right, CPIC. Okay, so the, the rest, uh, you know, of course you can also take a look. Okay, is it is the ins will the insurance sector uh run first or not? Okay, the insurance sector is already from red color turn blue color. So, so insurance uh, could be the, the sector to watch. Okay, so let's take a look at some of your stocks. Okay, so we have gone through a few stocks. I think it's good enough, okay, good enough uh, to, to watch, okay? Like this is a China rail construction. So I say the rail construction, the CRRC, okay, okay. And let's take a look at this. Uh, some of your stocks, okay? Some of your stocks. Okay, so uh, some people ask about Baba, nine nine eight eight. Baba and Tencent is about the same, okay? And this one looks like a bottom. Okay? It looks like bottoming, but the problem is, so many bottom signal have not worked. Okay, what are the confidence of this bottom signal? Okay, so the only good thing about this bottom signal is it didn't fail immediately. Okay, so the longer it didn't fail, the higher chance it's success. Okay, the longer it didn't drop, right? Okay, so for now, about one week, it never make new low. So this indeed is a strong support. So this indeed possible, okay, very likely to have a bounce from here. Because of this low, because of this low, technically it is a strong support. Okay. But anything below 78, 50 is going to turn ugly. Like you're going to turn ugly. Okay. So is this a, a, a strong stock play? It's not. This is a cheap, buy cheap play. But the disadvantage of this strategy is what? This stock don't have dividend. Like this stock never give, I mean, the dividend is not fantastic. Like it's not 4%, 5% kind of dividend, right? Okay. 
So, so as compared with, you know, buying dividend stock in Singapore at the bottom signal, at least uh, the, the one in Singapore, uh, you buy the bank stock, uh, you still can wait and still can collect dividend. Okay, but this one, you know, yeah, it's a speculative play. Okay, so what if other tech stock go up, not Alibaba? Then might as well you look at HS Tech. Okay, example, this uh, Lion... OCBC HS tech. Okay. So Lion OCBC HS tech. Maybe. Okay. This one is more uh, what we call like you got you got this uh Meituan, you got this uh Tencent, you got Alibaba, everything inside. Okay. So so by right, uh, by right, uh, by right here is very cheap already. Okay, because for selling down since February, the time. Okay, the time already quite long already. Okay, since February already have a long sell down. Okay, 1168. Let's see 1168. What is this? See no link. What? This one don't have volume. Eh? Don't have volume. Okay, don't have volume. So don't have volume how? Don't have volume. No, nobody trade. Okay, nobody trade. So if you if you look at the, the system here, the orange is a downtrend and all that. Okay, so 1168. Okay. It's a it's already worthless really, right? It's a 17 cents of Hong Kong dollar. Become penny stock, right? All right. So we have gone through quite a lot and very important information on this uh Hong Kong market. Okay, Hong Kong market. So uh, we want to be in the insurance sector if you are going for strong stocks. And you want to also look at look out for this uh, tech stock rebound. Tech stock tech stock rebound is, is potential. Okay, it's potential. That's the two uh, two things. Uh, okay, two things. Okay, other than that, uh, the rest, okay, the rest important. Another important stock is Hai Di Lao. Okay, in Hai Di Lao, also follow the sell down. Okay, also follow the sell down. And, you know, the bottom signal haven't been following through. Haven't been following through. So again, from February sell down until now, it's quite cheap already. Okay, it's quite cheap already. So by right, you know, uh, by right, okay. It's already sell down for too long. Everybody is going getting crazy. Okay. All right. So uh so let's uh, let's take a look at the last okay, last thing, the US market. Okay, so for US market, uh if you're looking at the buying cheap, right? Okay, for US market, right, dividend play is not not the not the plan, not the strategy. Why? Because uh US tax 30% on dividend. Okay, so so nobody buy US stock for dividend one. So for those stock, right, that is that is people want to buy cheap one, right? Uh the value stock, quality stock. Example, like Apple. Okay, Apple. So Apple, if you look at the bottom signal, okay, 127 already moved, right? 147 already up. So it's already far away from bottom. So US is not cheap for now, right? For short term, it's not cheap. But US is strong on the trend. Okay? It's strong on the trend. So, so what is happening here is uh the the overall market, okay, the overall market is trending. Okay, it's trending, it's going, it's going up trending strongly. Okay. But uh the blue chip is at the high side. So Apple is at the high side. Uh this uh Microsoft is at the short term, uh, short term is at the high side. Okay, the SMI near the 100, okay, and the uh, NVIDIA, all this is at the expensive side. Short term is expensive, okay, short term is, is a little bit overbought for the blue chip, okay, for the tech stock, for the mega cap, and for the mega cap. However, for the, the what we call the, the, the small cap, the small cap, small cap have never moved. Okay, so the Russell 2000 ETF is still here okay, at the low side. Okay, the low side. So, so Russell 2000 never really moved. Okay, but this uh, blue chip, right? Okay, just a few blue chip is, is doing very well. Okay, so, uh, so over here, we have uh, quite some good stocks recently. Okay, especially, you know, in, in some of these uh, like, Tech stocks, okay. We were some some good stocks. So example, Meta, Meta. So Meta platform, 
Okay, it's doing well. Okay, it's moving up, pull back, up, pull back, up, pull back, up again. Okay, it's doing it's doing well. And for personal account, uh, there's this like a Shopify. Like Shopify from here, blue arrow. Okay. Just a few days later, it jumped up. Okay, it jumped up. Wow, so this is a fantastic move. Okay. And upcoming, this uh, C Limited. Okay, this is also one of the stock. Okay, where I have this uh, bottom signal. Okay, so this bottom signal tells me that this is a good and cheap place. This bottom signal tells me that the bottom signal is working well. So this bottom signal again, okay, and then recently it start to bounce up strongly. Okay, so sometimes you see if the stock right have a good uh, bottom signal, okay, this is a this is a chance. And recently, okay, recently there is also some other stocks, okay, that that have a uh, this uh, bottom signal, okay. So uh, this is a uh, AMD, AMD, okay. So uh, over here this is a uh, AMD, and then this stock is uh moving up, pull back, and then have a bottom signal, pull back, have a bottom signal, pull back, have a bottom signal, and right after, okay, right now it bounced off strongly, off the the bottom signal. Okay, so the, the smart money, right? They like to buy low actually. They like to buy low, they like to look out for these uh names, okay, that is a strong uh strong name, big company, and they like to buy when the share price have a discount. Okay, this is what I can say lah, for now. Okay, so so over here, uh there are many stocks that is doing very well. Okay, there are many stocks that are doing very well. Okay. So, so some of the stocks, okay. Uh, let me just show you a few, uh, but they already run. Okay, they already run. Okay. So example, okay, this stock, C E L H Celsius. Last night, jump out, okay, jump up strongly. Okay, jump up strongly. So again, here there's the blue arrow. Okay, and then after that, this is a uh, haven't run up yet. But for now, if you look at it, it already run. Okay, already run. Okay. So another stock, SMCI, okay, this is also already run, okay, already run up. So this one, if you look at the bottom signal, 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 right after this bottom signal, it run up strongly, okay, run up strongly, okay. And uh, some other stocks like, like Uber, okay, Uber last night also jump up strongly again uh, you can see that this is a bottom signal this is a bottom signal and right after this bottom signal the stock jump up strongly right over here so so the smart money right they like to buy at the bottom signal okay they like to buy at the bottom signal okay with this uh big move okay so uh so let's take a look at some of your stocks. Okay, TGTX. Oh, TGTX is one of my uh one of my watch lists also. Okay. This is the one of the strongest stocks uh, in the market. Okay, so again, if you look back, if you look at the bottom signal, it helps you to catch the lowest point and before it runs up. Okay, so this TGTX have a blue arrow over here, have another low risk entry over here. After that, no more low risk entry no more low risk entry okay so the rest right now it is a okay it is a high risk uh, entry a high risk entry so it's at a high side and for the rest is a short term all right so this is one of the best mover over the past few weeks and over the past one year this is the best performer 800 percent best performer of the whole year for the past one year Okay, this is the stock champion. Okay, one of the champion. Okay, Stephen, wow, this uh, GE. GE also one of the strong stocks. I think we discussed this last week or so. Okay, last last week or so, I think we talked about this. But it stopped moving. Okay, it stopped moving. So far, there's not much of a volatility. Okay, the volatility not so scary. Okay, that means now it is consolidating. Okay, so anything... Uh, there is a if there's a break above one one hundred and one 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 zero one five, okay, that'll be better. But ever since this day drop, uh, 
the rest is like a bit uh, shaky, uh, a bit shaky. Okay, not moving this week, not moving. Okay, but smart money is still in, trend is still up. Okay, overall is still above the short term trend, mid term trend support, still above. So, uh, yeah, so sometimes you need a bit more time, need a bit more time. All right, so uh, let's take a look at a few more stocks. Okay, Palantir, PLTR. Yesterday also uh, have a big jump. Okay, but if you, if you see a lot of these, they, they, uh, like what I say, yeah, a lot of them, right, they buy at this uh, oversold re region and, you know, because of the earnings, then they suddenly jump. There's no trend, actually. There's no trend. So Palantir, this one, right, is really, really random. Okay, random. Okay, it's not a not a very good uh, not a very good trend. Okay, there's no no trend. The the real one, the good trend, if you see, you know, some of these stocks, you know, uh, these are the kind of stocks that that is like like trending. Okay, not this is not not the best one. Okay, BLDR. Let's say BLDR, builder first source. Okay, so these are the kind of trend that is uh like really really uh good. Okay, really really good uptrend. Okay, so with a lot of a blue arrow with the smart money, okay, but again, it's in the overbought region. Okay, the SMI already one hundred percent. So anytime they will be profit taking. Okay, they will be profit taking. Okay, so um TPH yes TPH is also one of the home builder, very strong, very steady. Okay, very good uh, if you already in this stock. Okay, you are doing very well. Okay, this Jeffrey, you are doing good to have this. Okay, good to have this. is is one of the nicest uh, trend out there. One of the nicest. Okay, so the rest, uh, Doctor Houghton, Lena, okay, all these they are all very nice trend to be holding for now lah. Okay, these are the strongest stocks in the market. Okay, the strongest stock in the market. Okay, so congratulations if you are with this few stocks. Okay, if you're with this, if you're in this sector, okay, the home builder sector, okay, all right. So, uh, so over here, okay, uh, if you want to uh find out more, okay, if you want to this what we call, uh, strongly recommend you uh, to join our class, okay, our class to to learn about this uh, strategy, to learn about this uh, system, so that you can align yourself to the strongest uptrend. Okay, to the strongest uptrend. You can use learn how to use this screener. Okay, learn how to use screener. Learn how to use the the signal to find out. You know what are some of the stocks, right? You you need to pay attention. You need to pay attention because these stocks, right? They could be the next big winner. Okay, they could be the big winner if the market really 